much for coming back to the Kinney Center's YouTube page. I'm Emily, I'm a case manager here at the Kinney Center, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do some super fun science activities. So we're gonna be doing oobleck and cloud clay. So first, let's go into everything that you'll need for both the activities and all the steps we'll be taking, and then we'll get right into it. Fun science activities. Um, the first one we're gonna be starting out with is our cloud clay. So the materials you're gonna need for that one are conditioner, cornstarch, a bowl, a spoon, some measuring cups, and then if you want to add food coloring or essential oils to your cloud clay, that's completely up to you, but feel free to do so. Um, so our steps. So the first step is we're going to add one cup of conditioner into our bowl. Next, we're going to add two cups of cornstarch into the bowl and mix with our spoon. And then once the ball starts to form, we can start mixing with our hands and just step, put that spoon aside. And then if you have food coloring or your essential oils, now would be the time to add one to two drops of each and then mix that up as well. And then you can play. So the different things that you can do with cloud clay is you can roll it, squish it, mold it or shape it, really do whatever you want. Feel free to get creative when it comes to this. And then moving on to our next activity, we have oobleck. So the materials we're gonna need for that are water, cornstarch, a bowl, some spoons, measuring cups, and then again, if you have food coloring, feel free to add that as well. So going on to our steps, the first thing we're gonna be doing is adding a cup of water into the bowl. And then we're gonna slowly add one and a half cups of cornstarch into the bowl of water and mix using our spoon. Once we've added all of our cornstarch in, we can then start with our mixing with our hands and move into that and then just add our food coloring in. We're gonna add one to two drops and then it's time to play. So different things that you can do with your oobleck is grab a handful of it and squeeze it and let it ooze from your finger. Um, you can also make a puddle and drag your finger through the bottom of the bowl. Um, you can put it in a plastic container and shake it up and bounce it around and watch all of the droplets form and bounce throughout the container. It's really up to you. Again, another great opportunity to be creative and do whatever you want. Okay, so now that we have all of our materials gathered, we're going to start by adding one cup of conditioner into our bowl. So we just want to squeeze that out. Might have to put it down and use both hands, which is totally fine. Oh my gosh. All right, so then once we have one cup of conditioner, go ahead and add that to the bowl. You might have to use your spoon to scoop out some of the conditioner because it may stick, which is totally fine. And then once we have all of our conditioner out into our bowl, we're then going to add two cups of cornstarch. So this might get a little bit messy, which is totally okay. We're just gonna pour it in. Make sure to do this over the bowl so that if any doesn't get into your measuring cup, it just goes straight into the bowl. And one more. Oh. All right. Again, it's okay if it's a little bit messy. This is, can all be easily cleaned up later. All right, and then after we've scooped all of our cornstarch out of our measuring cup and into the bowl, we can then just start to mix. We wanna mix it up super, super well. And it'll start to form an all combine and get a little bit tougher to mix as you continue to mix it with your spoon. So you'll definitely start to feel that it's getting thicker and little clumps will start forming as well. So once it does start to get a little bit of a clumpy consistency, you can move to using your hand. It might just be a little bit easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you'll just want to kind of squish it together so that it all comes together to create one big ball. 
while also kind of mixing it around. I'm gonna keep mixing, make sure you get all that cornstarch combined with the conditioner. It'll definitely start out as more of a sticky mixture, as you can see. But that is totally okay. You just wanna keep on mixing. Okay, so you wanna continue mixing it until you get a consistency, consistency that looks similar to this. Um, I added a little bit more cornstarch in, so you can feel free to do that as much as you need until you get less of a sticky consistency. So after you form a ball, it's really just very similar to what Play-Doh is. So you can go ahead and on any surface, pretty much just like roll it out. You can make different shapes. You can just squish it in your hands. Um, do a bunch of different things. You can take out a bunch of um, maybe kitchen things that you have lying around like a rolling pin and roll it out and then like make different stamps and shapes out of cookie cutters that you might have or different Play-Doh toys. So it's really up to you how you would like to use it. Um, you can also add other essential oils to it if you want it to have more of a um, pungent smell. So I have a bunch here that you could definitely use or any ones that you have lying around at home. So I have lemon, I have eucalyptus, and I also have tea tree oil. So you can just add one or two drops of that into the clay and it'll help it smell super good if your conditioner doesn't really have a strong smell to it. Um, and then you can also add food coloring if you have that as well. So again, just add one or two drops of whatever, your, whatever food coloring that you have lying around, and that'll just add a nice pastel color to it, depending how many drops that you add. So you can definitely do whatever you want with this. It's really just a fun thing to have lying around, and you can just mold it and shape it to whatever shapes you want. Just a reminder, this is not something that you should be eating, but it's great if you have siblings or friends over, obviously while staying um, six feet away for social distancing, but if you want to just play catch, you totally can because it's like a ball. Okay, so now we're going to be making oobleck. So with this one, it definitely is a little bit messier than the cloud clay, so you just want to might have a roll of paper towels right next to you just so that you can clean up as you go, just to make it a little bit easier for in the end when we do need to clean up everything that we've taken out. All right, so our first step for oobleck is to add one cup of water into our bowl. This can be filtered water, tap water, it really doesn't matter. Um, I just got mine from the sink, so that totally works. Um, and then next, we're going to add a cup and a half of cornstarch into our mixture. I'm gonna start by adding a half cup at a time and then mixing with my spoon. So again, like we did with the cloud clay, I'm gonna do it over our bowl so that anything that doesn't get into the measuring cup will go right into our mixture anyway. So with the half cup, I'm gonna start by mixing it just to make sure everything's combined. Keep mixing and you'll definitely feel that everything will get a lot smoother. In the beginning, there was a little bit of a harder um, consistency at the bottom of the bowl. And then once that's all combined, you can add another half cup and then just pour that in. And again, just mix it using your spoon. And you can see that it does all eventually combine. In the beginning, it's definitely a little bit more clumpy, but it will all mix in. All right. And then once that's all mixed in, then you can add one more half cup again over our bowl so that nothing gets all over the counter all right and then we added that in oops we gotta drop this one That's okay. and then we want to just scoop all of the extra cornstarch that may have gotten stuck to our measuring cup into the bowl and then we can just mix with our spoon and then at this point, you can start by mixing actually with your fingers. So you just want to tap off any excess from our spoon and maybe just stick that in our measuring cup that's already dirty. And then we can start playing around with it with our fingers. So you'll definitely feel that on the bottom there is a tough consistency from our cornstarch. And if you run your fingers through it, you can feel all of the cornstarch. 
And then you can swish it around and play with it. And you can always add more cornstarch anytime that you want. As you're playing with your oobleck, it definitely, um, the cornstarch does combine with the water pretty quickly. So you can always just add more cornstarch in, even without using the measuring cup, and just spread it around. And you'll start to see that this, that the cornstarch gets all clumpy and you can squish it and like stick your finger in it and your finger will sink all the way to the bottom. You can run your finger through the bottom. You can take it out and watch it drizzle back into the bowl. It's super fun to play with and it's a super weird feeling actually. At this time you can also add in um, any food color that you may have just to add like a super cool effect to it. Um, feel free to add multiple colors. It can almost be like a galaxy if you wanted to do that. Um, but yeah, this is just something super fun to play with with um, either your mom or dad. You can even play with it by yourself. It's totally up to you. And it honestly wasn't even as um, messy as I was expecting it to be. So as long as you keep everything in the bowl, it should be a pretty easy cleanup. So another super fun thing that you can actually do with the oobleck is put it in a container like this one and then stick the lid on it and then shake it around and watch it all bounce around in the bowl and see all the beads that form and the different droplets. It'd be super cool. Definitely get super creative with this and let me know any other ways that you found super fun to play with this. <laughs> Thanks guys so much for tuning in today. I had so much fun making these super cool science experiments with you. Um, let me know how it went with you guys. Leave a comment on the Facebook page or if you can on this YouTube video and let me know how it went. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.